Hey folks, Ian Robson here from the Fishing Experiment. Today we are at Vincent Massey Park. We're going to be fishing in the Rideau Canal, uh, Rideau Canal, Rideau River. Uh, the current date is October 12th. So here in Canada, Ontario at least, we're getting colder and colder as we speak. So the fishing is kind of slowing down a little bit. Uh, the fish is still active, but for me, from the bank, I find it a little, this is like the toughest time for me at least, because I don't know where the fish are and it's hard to locate them because you have to walk around a lot. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is going to try and explore uh, Vincent Massey Park a little bit, see if we can't find some new spots maybe for the spring next year. I have two setups with me. I got my, my bait caster and I have my spinning reel. So I can look around for maybe for some smallmouth, maybe for some uh, musky and pike, maybe. If we locate some, we'll try for them. If we don't, uh, we'll just go for some other fish. So let's see what happens. Uh, hopefully we get at least one. That's my, my goal, is trying to get at least one fish today. Uh, because I always find this kind of t year uh, difficult, like I mentioned before. Anyways, stick with me and let's see what happens. All right, there's a couple rocks out there. And I can, I don't know if there's gonna be fish behind them, but normally, different time of year there would be, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go, see what happens. Like I said, unlikely there's fish there now, just because the time of year it is, getting into late fall here, or fall. So the likelihood of there being a fish right there is pretty slim, actually. But, like I guess I will give it a go, because we're here. This water's moving a little bit too fast. For my original intentions, I wasn't, I couldn't remember how fast it was over here, but now that I see it, this is a little bit too fast. We want slow moving water uh, because we want the heat. Uh, that's the thing we're looking for is the heat from the slow moving water or the lack of moving water so it's actually warmer. That's what we're looking for at least. All right, so I'm starting to switch to worms. I was using a slip sinker setup, but uh, where I am here at Moody's Bay, it is super snaggy. So I'm just going to try free lining a little bit of uh, worm and see if we can't get one that way. We'll see what happens. Oh, fish on. What do we got? Looks like a little... Oh, it was a little smallmouth bass. Hey, first fish of the day, I'll take it. Fish on. What do we got here? Looks like another little smallmouth. There you go, folks. Another little smallmouth. Get him unhooked here. Oh, there he goes again. They're just so small. Don't even get a chance to get them. Oh, another fish on. Oh, missed it. They're right here in front of me by the rocks here, so. Oh, fish on. Feisty little guy this time. There you go, another little one. See if we actually can't get this one in a picture of this one. There we go. There you go, folks. Nice little smallmouth bass right there. Gorgeous. Let's get a quick picture of it. All right, there you go. Last look. Let's give it a little release here. There he goes. Cold water. Definitely cold. We've had a couple nights of frost over the last little while, so that could be part of the reason why it's so cold. I don't know the exact temperature. 60s, maybe. Let's see if we can't get another. Or different species, maybe. Different species would be awesome. Oh, fish on again. It's digging for it. Looks like another little smallmouth here. There you go, folks. Another little smallmouth. Using a size four or size four hook. Gorgeous. Look at the colors. Put it back. So there's small smallmouth here. Maybe there's going to be big smallmouth here as well. Oh, fish on! Another little smallmouth looks like. On that night crawler there. Look at the colors. Wow. Look at that. Almost translucent in the sun there. There you go, folks. Let's put them back in the wind here. So there's smallmouth here. Small ones at least. I'm happy to catch something. So we're gonna try just a slightly different location here. It's not too far from the other location. Just see if we can catch something else other than smallmouth. Maybe we'll get lucky with a rock bass, maybe a perch. Who knows? Let's see what happens. Alright folks, didn't catch anything too great to say, but we did catch some fish, that's a good sign for me. Um, so one of the interesting things I noticed is that they're right by the rocks, smaller fish, but that's okay. There may be some bigger ones around as well, but uh, 
I didn't catch any. I went for I got all the small fish in the end. That's fine. I did have a couple hits on the Senko, but didn't get any takers. So fortunately, we switched we switched to worms. We caught some fish on worms, and that's a plus because if you don't catch any fish, it's better. Uh, it's not as great as catching some fish. So I'm gonna fish for a bit longer. See if I can't get one or two more. Maybe we'll get a, a different species. If not, we will call it there for now, folks. My name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the fishing experiment today. Of course, we were trying to catch some fall fish. Not the actual fish, but fish in the fall, I should say. And uh, we were successful today. Not big ones, mind you, but we were successful catching some fish, which is better than none. Anyways, that's it for me for today, folks. If you have any suggestions for next time, let me know in the comments below. My name is Ian Robson again from the Fishing Experiment. And uh, until next time with some more experimentation. Catch you guys later.